The difference between, you can use this, the difference between literature and media. Literature means a guy has an idea and he's looking for the right words to express those ideas. The great writers find the perfect words, the nicest words, and the ideas come out really good. If you're not so talented, the idea is still a good idea, and it's looking for the right words, and it's not finding exactly the best expression. But that's literally. Media is the opposite. Media is a bunch of words that have to be written, because the column has to be 250 words. So you have the words, and you go looking for an idea. If you find an idea, fine. If not, the words have to get written. So you write it, and you hope that some idea will somehow pop out of it. That's the difference between machshove dibur, dibur machshove. And since we're talking about letters, the letter dalit is machshove and dibur, and the letter resh is machshove and dibur. But the resh is negative, and the dalit is positive. So in the dalit, it's machshove dibur. And they have to be connected. And the Reish is like Dibur Machshov. They're also connected, but it's backwards. So the moral of the story is that um, the say there has to be that first you have a thought, then you find the words for it. If not, you start off with words and then hope it produces a thought. But going back to um, going back to the theme of Torah and marriage, or Torah and Chinuch, we have a terrible uh, lack of emes that we're suffering from. That the emes is not appreciated, and that's why we um, we're we're confused. We're unsure, we're uncertain, and we create this uncertainty in the home and in the children, which is really very unhealthy. <clears throat> so in the name of truth, in the pursuit of truth, we have to start with what we know is MS. Even if we don't know the seichel of it, but we know it's MS, and that is more important. And that's that famous story about the Fidikid Ebbe asked why you have to say Maidani a certain way. And the Rebbe Hashab called in the old guy and he asked him how he says Maidani. And he said, My father told me. What was the whole point of that story? That the Rebbe Hashab wanted to emphasize not the explanation but the emes. That if this is the emes, what more do you need? you know the right way to do it, what else do you need? So if we go back to focusing on the emes, then uh, these nasty things that happen without emes don't happen outside the family, inside the family, with the children. And the emes, the emes illuminates the path so that we go with confidence and um, we have good results, guaranteed results, that the home, the home will be a home based on emes, and then it is a binyan adeyad, a bias biyasro, that um, that avoids all the agmas nefesh, and God forbid, that, uh, that we see happening in the world today. Make sense? <coughs> I don't know, is anybody else making it? So simple, it makes sense. Were you listening, Isaac? I was, but I don't know if anyone else was. <laughs> oh, okay.